Hello guys, welcome to another video of mine. I'm now in Sydney again. I'm about to fly Qantas Link to Moree. Moree is a tiny county town in northern New South Wales. Why would I go there? Because the aircraft that Qantas uses on this route is the Bombardier Dash A200, the smallest aircraft type in Qantas family. I can't wait to get on board, so let's head to the terminal now. This video was filmed on the 7th of December 2020, before the Avalon coronavirus cluster occurred in Sydney. Please avoid any non-essential travel and follow the health advice if you live in a coronavirus hotspot. Sydney Airport uh, has experienced several ups and downs in passenger traffic in 2020. On the 12th of November, I flew Pontus Link from Sydney to Canberra. As Sydney was still shut out by Queensland and Western Australia at that time, the terminal was pretty deserted. On the 23rd of November, New South Wales reopened its border with Victoria. On the 1st of December, Queensland reopened its border to people in Sydney. As a result, Qantas has returned to 60% of pre-COVID domestic capacity throughout its network, and Terminal 3 at Sydney Airport is alive again. It's so pleasing to see that the departures and arrivals board are full of flights again. The gate number for my flight to Moree is 1C. This gate may be a little hard to find. It's situated at the east end of the terminal. When you clear security, just turn right, then you will not miss it. As the aircraft is parked at a remote stand, I had to catch a shuttle bus to get to the airplane. This is in fact my first time having to catch an airport bus to board the plane at Sydney Airport. Today's aircraft is a Qantas Link Bombardier Dash 8 200. It is the smallest member in Qantas family. Qantas Link currently has three of them operated by Eastern Australia Airlines. The 200 series are mainly used to maintain the link between Sydney and Lord Howe Island and this is the only aircraft type across the entire Qantas fleet that can safely land on this island. Qantas Link Dash A200 are in all economy class layout with a total of 9 rows of seats in a 2 2 configuration. There are 5 seats in the last row, but Qantas Link does not sell the middle seat. The seat has a width of 17 inches and a pitch of 31 inches. It is not reclinable and there is no headrest at the front of each seat. Yes, these are the exact same seats as those on Qantas Link Dash 8 300 and 400 series.
After flying over Hawkesbury River, we have left the city behind and entered Wollamai National Park. At the same time, a snack was served. The snack on Qantas Link flights usually include either a muffin or crackers with a dipping sauce. Today's snack is mixed berry yogurt muffin loaf. The muffin only weighs 50 grams, so you can imagine the size of it. However, it is actually quite delicious. I especially love the filled yogurt inside the muffin. Since September, instead of giving each passenger just a bottle of water, Qantas Link has reintroduced its full beverage service. On this flight, I get to choose between tea, coffee, juice, and soft drinks. As usual, I asked for a cup of white tea. Since June, Qantas has been providing each passenger with a flywheel pack, which includes two sanitizing wipes and a face mask. We are now flying over Kula Tops National Park. I'm not a meteorologist, but in my opinion, this area may be the boundary between humid subtropical climate zone and semi-arid climate zone. You can see the color of the ground has changed from green to yellow as we move further inland. The fly time to Moree takes only 1 hour and 20 minutes. We commenced our descent after passing Narrabri. Today's flight was pretty smooth. I know many of you may be curious about the level of comfort between Saab 340 and Dash A200. First of all, the Dash A200 fuselage is wider and the ceiling is taller. The seats are in 2-2 configuration, whereas the Saab 340 seats are in 1-2 configuration. There are window shades on the Saab, but not on the Dash 8. In terms of the engine noise, I believe Dash 8 is slightly quieter. Both aircrafts feature a toilet on board. So, in general, if you don't like neighbors and prefer to turn down your window shade to have a nap on board, then you'd probably prefer the Saab 340. The Dash 8 200 is a bigger aircraft, the cabin is roomier, and the flight is a little smoother. But overall, both aircrafts are excellent to fly on. It's more about personal preference. I enjoyed flying on both aircrafts. I have flown on Saab 340 with Regional Express Airlines twice in 2020. Please feel free to watch those flight review videos if you would like to know more about the onboard experience of the Saab 340. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a like if you have enjoyed it. My next video will be a review of another unique turboprop aircraft, the Fairchild Swearingen Metro 23. If you want to be the first to watch that review, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video.